Recently, Bendy and the Dark Revival finally got a trailer after waiting for an absolute lifetime. Every indie horror fan is excited and looking forward to this great new game and the already amazing series. From what we've seen so far in the trailer, it looks like a completely new and improved version of the series, which you'd definitely hope for in a sequel. <laughs> we have brand new characters, brand new locations, tons of different mechanics that I'll get into later on, and of course, most important of all, Baby Bendy. Considering the game is only a few weeks away, surely everyone would be super excited for the release. Except that's not exactly what happened. With the release of the Bendy and the Dark Revival trailer, there has been quite a lot of backlash coming from some creators in the community on how it seems like it isn't polished enough, that it looks like it's heavily copying other titles, and a lot more things that I'll try my best to cover. All of this talk about the game got to a point where the creator of Bendy and the Ink Machine, The Meatly, came out with a tweet saying, hey everyone, I just wanted to say that it's okay for some people to not like Bendy. Let them have their opinion, their thoughts, and be nice to them. Which is obviously very true and factual and based from the Meatly themselves. But of course, with every new game, there is bound to be people who won't like it, and at least a small group of people who will find something wrong with the game to criticise. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing the absolute opposite of critiquing the game, and I'll be talking about the reasons you should be hyped for Bendy and the Dark Revival. Firstly, the locations and the scenery look absolutely amazing. Compared to the previous game, while the aesthetic of the studio in Bendy and the Ink Machine was very unique and had hardly ever been seen before in any other titles. It became very popular and loved by the community. But there was also a lot of people complaining about how the different rooms look basically the same with the same type of textures and such. Which is fair enough, I can see where they're coming from. But in Bendy and the Dark Revival, you can tell they actually put time and effort into making each location unique, while also keeping the much-loved aesthetic of the first game. In the first game, you were pretty much inside the entire time, but in the new trailer, it looks like there's points in the game where we will be able to go outside into streets which would be very cool and something very different. Like look at these side by side videos of the first game versus the trailer for the new game. I think for the first game they wanted it to look like you're in a cartoon from the era of where Joey Drew Studios created the Bendy animation in the universe and it did work really well. And in the new game it feels like they kept that same idea but added a bit more of a realistic touch to the aesthetic which I think looks amazing so far. Another bit of criticism Bendy in the Dark Revival has been getting is the fact that the game seems very similar to some of the Bioshock titles, and that it's got a lot of similarities with the scenery and characters, etc. Like, sure, the girl from the start looks pretty similar to a character from one of the Bioshock games, but honestly, I don't think that going into it they were like, yeah, let's just rip off Bioshock, that'll do. I think it definitely has taken a lot of inspiration from the Bioshock series, and I'm honestly pretty okay with that considering Bioshock is in my top three favourite game series of all time. So a Bendy and the Ink Machine game that's inspired by Bioshock sounds sick as hell, I don't, I don't know about you guys. Obviously, copying another game is completely completely not okay at all, but I don't think that's what the studio is intentionally trying to do. Although there are a lot of similarities between the titles, as seen in the images of this tweet, comparing the two games, it's unknown really if it's intentional or not, but I'm sure considering it's going to have its own full story and characters, it's hopefully not just going to be a complete blatant ripoff of the Bioshock series and its own game as a whole. Another thing I've seen people saying is that the animation in the trailer at some points looks a bit janky or not fully polished, which I can agree with, there's no denying at some points there's a few mistakes here and there with the animation. Like as you can see here, the hand is sort of moving around a bit weird, or this character that is thanking you is moving around pretty janky. But that's the great thing about criticism, I'm sure after listening to what everyone has to say, they'll do their best to improve the parts of the game that seem not up to par with what they wanted it to turn out like. Now I'm not saying it's guaranteed that they will do this, but I'm sure anyone with common sense seeing a bit of a mistake in their game that's about to release will try their best to fix it up before release. Overall, I'm I'm just excited to see how the story is going to continue and how the new mechanics are going to feel. I'm also pretty excited to watch some of my favourite YouTubers play it alongside me playing it by myself, because it's always good seeing someone else's perspective on how they play the game. It's going to feel a lot different to the original Bendy game that we all know and love, but I think it'll definitely be for the better, considering we're going to have vastly improved combat, vastly improved hitboxes, vastly improved mechanics, vastly faster move speeds, and no Alice Angel fetch quests. Thank God. 
I also hope we get to explore some areas that sort of go off the original art style aesthetic. Places such as the art studio that's shown in the first segment of the trailer. I don't know, I think that would be pretty dope. Maybe in the end, I'm biased on my opinions with how I think the game is going to turn out, because I've enjoyed the series for so many years, ever since it came out. But everyone's entitled to their own opinions, just like the Meatly said. But man, the release of Bendy and the Dark Revival can't come soon enough, and I hope you're as excited as I am for it.